Hey everyone, welcome to my casual playthrough of Tetanus by Squonker Team for Doom 2. Starting right where I left off, which was map 6, the Hydrate. I believe this is a Zemistic map, but I might have to correct myself at the end here. Let's see. Okay. Relatively simple start. Okay, I really need to rebalance my volume. My apologies for the glimpse of the crispiness menu that is being absolutely ruined by this map's custom palette. Yeah, that's that's why um Tetanus contains all of the Doom 2 um, iBOD sprites because they had to be altered a bit the new uh, palette. And I didn't really notice that there was a different um, palette, but it makes sense because this is a lot more orange than I would have thought. I'd ever see in Doom 2, so anyway, let's head through here. More low level enemies. There's a Kako here. A Zoik. That's the name of the planet in Chex Quest, not the item. Oh look! Devonance in fighting right away. I'm tempted to try and just berserk this entire fight, but whenever I try that, it goes very poorly for me. So I guess I'll just... Yeah, I like that. Okay. It's early morning, by the way, so I might not be as energetic as previous videos. Not that I was energetic in previous videos. I'm much more of a laid-back kind of person, you know. Interesting that I like my games as fast-paced as this, but whatever. So, yeah, this isn't too bad so far. I'm just wondering when I'm gonna get to see the 500 cyber demons. Well, there's a arch file teleporting there, so, and I'm and I've already given him time to resurrect some people. So I guess that's the first challenge, but oh look at that! He didn't even try to zap me. So even that wasn't too hard. Um, only take as much ammo as we need to. And just one rocket more than that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, again, either this is a very serious break map, or there's going to be a whole bunch of bullshit later on, and we'll see what happens. Th that supercharge certainly doesn't bode well for what happens after I hit that switch. Let's get rid of this shotgun if I can. Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing I'm gonna need my rockets. Okay. Okay, this doesn't look... Oh, that's a lot of revenants. That is a lot of revenants. Well, not that many. Yeah, that was kind of quick. One Baron. Yeah. That wasn't much of a fight. Hmm. 
And I can go straight to the blue key door. Yellow key is also trapped, but with not quite as much health behind it. Although at the same time, all these lowering doors look a bit threatening. Grab it. Yeah, this is also like trivialized by rockets. I'm starting to think that maybe this map. Maybe the problem is this map just isn't at all designed for continuous play. Because it really feels like I'm playing on Hey Not Too Rough right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm on Ultra Violence. But. I mean. I can't complain too much because. Like. I don't know, the maps I've been playing lately in like, Struggle and mapping at warp speed for the Megalod Club are very elaborate. Um, and very punishing, so I guess it's nice to have a light map like this after all that. But yeah, there just isn't much to this. Oh! Yeah, another roaming arch file that goes down pretty quick. Because he only has chain gunners to revive. Not that chain gunners aren't a threat, because they very much are. The pallet, the pallet in this one really messes up the auto map, by the way. Like, this is a yellow key door, but it looks like it requires the blue key. Because all those colors have been switched around. And yeah, okay. I feel like there should be more to this map, but I don't see anything, so... Exit. Yep, that was Dehydrate by Zemistic. I think Zemistic also contributed, like, map 2. And that was also a quickie, but I think it was a bit more engaging of a quickie. Like, this one just felt really easy and, like, not much was happening. Um, but maybe that's just because I'm playing continuous and I'm supposed to be starved for weapons or something. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad that map wasn't at all like F Eternity's Dehydration, which is an hour long, and it's a concrete tech-based type thing. This is the exact opposite. <laughs> oh look, a text screen. The decrepit walls of the rusting facility seem to close in on you as you clear it of all manners of mysterious men. Your big gun throbs with the will of 1,000 suns, but the creatures continue to pour in from various orifices. Is that an intentional misspelling? I don't know. This mission feels more suicidal with each passing moment. If the demons don't get you, the asbestos will. That's a... That's a nice, fun one. I'm gonna save here. And hopefully this map brings more of interest. I certainly like this opening shot, like, just that huge tower and all the greenery around it. But before the asbestos kills me, let's jump down here, start shooting some guys.
Okay, that was a mistake. Going in with the rockets on that. Did I taste rocketed? Oh, well. Maybe I should reframe that. Coincidence always says happy face rockets. And I don't think he's happy when he face rockets, but certainly turned it into part of his brand. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not handling this super well. I've grown complacent with the low difficulty. This isn't even something I would consider that hard ordinarily. Okay. Okay. Pulled off a bit of a save there. I guess I'll press the switch. And that just lowers the lift back, so... I think I'm supposed to be using the regular shotgun in this bit, but whatever. those guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely no s shortage of shells in this map. A surprise, nice surprise attack there. Okay. Oh, is that a shootable switch? Didn't see what it did. Oh! Secret supercharge. That's nice. To be honest, both of those switches look like they could be secrets. Oh! Come on. I'm not handling this well. Okay, there we go. Oh, Berserk. How nice of our friendly mapper here. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. I think I may find here that Salvage took set a bit too high of a standard for this map set to live up to, but yeah. Yep, that's another that's a big one. It's a real big one it looks like. Okay. Damn it. I think this might be the end of the run. Maybe if I can just do my job and dodge these things. Get to that last 
Oh, there's another one. Never mind. Okay. The Arachnos are gone. So that's... I don't know. I think in my last Megabob playthrough I had an unusual amount of trouble with Arachnodrons. I don't know why, but... They're always used in situations that make me... that make them harder to dodge than it looks. Like, you can't just circle strafe in a lot of the fights where they're used. But here, yeah, they're mostly just fine. They're manageable. Uh, more enemies. Great. I was hoping for some health, like a, another bazooka or something, but... Oh well. My fault for blowing that last fight. And... Gotta get rid of that arch vial when I as quickly as I can. Oh! There we go. I guess I might as well make... Another stab at this. I think, yeah. Damn it. Just have to mess that up. Simplest of things is just like deal with the chain gunners quickly. Thankfully, we can still get the supercharge. See if I can get up to the... Saving. 
And I ran out of bullets. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have the chain gun at this point, so that's probably why. Okay, there's the pit. And there's a blue key door. So I guess I might as well save. Let's go. Actually, I should save that supercharge for later. So, uh... Am I just going to be immediately destroyed? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed right away. Yep. Should have gone for that supercharge. <laughs> okay. But I'm not going to until I need it. Still gonna insist on conservation. Okay. Let's try this again. See if I can get rid of the hit scan. I don't want to use my plasma. I, I do not want to be wasting plasma. Okay, yeah, the problem with saving that super card for later is that that's the center of where all the enemies are. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, the arachnotrons aren't the main threat here. You just have to avoid getting pinned by everything else. And also, fuck that damage roll. Okay, maybe the Arachnotrons are a threat, and I should get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this, it really isn't much of a fight. <laughs> but, at least compared to what I've been playing outside of this. But, uh, let's have another go. Oh uh, no. Immediately pinned. I didn't expect it to take me this many attempts, considering that on first attempt I got through it all. I think that's kind of just what complacency and boredom can do. Like, if it's my first attempt, then it's novel to me, I'm gonna fight harder for it, but... Ah... I might just need to take a break from this. Okay, yeah. See, I do know what to do. I, I've gotta get into sort of rhythm and just. Round and fire at yeah, whatever at the supercharge when I need it. 
Even though I don't think I did last time. But whatever. Actually, no, I definitely needed it last time. And that might have been my biggest mistake. With these later fights is, like, maybe I, even though I have a lot of health, maybe I just should let myself face that supercharge. Because that gives me more wiggle room in this fight by, like, 60 health. That's enough for, like, one high damage Baron or Hell Knight roll. Doing better this time. Not instant. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't get distracted by talking either. No, let's try it. Let's go in with 200 health. I think last time I also had armor, and that's part of my problem. Well, actually, no, I have the green armor either way. Okay. That was a, not a good start, but I can make it with at least decent movement. I think that should be all the hit scanners. Those for a moment there. It's probably not Crispy Doom's fault because it's a really fast engine, but it might just be my computer being slow. Uh, 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 uh. I don't get it. I beat this on my first attempt. Alright, one more and I'm just gonna take a break and then probably cut out most of that with a message saying several attempts later. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. I can I can do this. Because I know I can do this. Maybe... You know, once I've cleared out some of these enemies... Maybe the strat to go for, honestly, is to release some Incubi early. Because, like... There goes the Arachnatrons. That should make it significantly easier to run around. Because now it's just a big dopey cluster of monsters in the middle. With the exception of those two hacker demons. And, like, I know this fight. Like, you just circle straight and fire a bit. Try not to get too close, but, like, don't worry. Yeah, okay, that worked. Let's make sure to grab everything. Including the cells, because I might need them against the arch file. Even though, like... Come to think of it, I think those are pretty much exclusively for continuous players, if not people who found a secret somewhere. Okay. Gonna save again. Release the pinkies and the mancubus, who is not a threat. Don't I have Bazoik? Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I think I might have even intentionally skipped the Berserk because I had over 100% health. Maybe that wasn't wise. But anyway... Here is the Arch Vial. Here's the final wave. Damn it, I'm trying to kill the Arch Vial and everything else is getting in my way. Uh, 
die. Release the vial! This time I deal with it quickly, but also get hit by a bunch of Revenant missiles. Because that's how that combo goes down. Sorry about that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Once I got the arch vial. Wasn't there a single missile? Okay, yeah. Not that I need missiles. Is that all? Maybe this is the last switch. Seems to lead right back up. Okay. Oh, brother. This... This looks suspicious. Golly, it is. Though it isn't as bad as that last ambush. It's just a new small area to clear it out. Yep. Let's save before this, now that I have more health. Still no armor, but I'm not in a terrible position. Okay. Another big lift. Two shotgunners. I am suspicious of the blue key. Well, I don't see any opposition, so I guess I'll just head to this conveniently placed door. Ooh. The old teleport behind you trick. Teleport behind you and make you jump into a pit trick. I never used my cells. I think that would be a good place to use my cells. Oh, hi. There you go. That's how you do it. I think I may have missed a fake wall secret over here. So maybe I should actually go back down for real. Because I see a gap in the auto map. And that could mean a fake wall, but... It could just mean that there's some mapping weirdness going on. Oh no, that's just the switch, which is for some reason invisible to the auto map. Um, all right. Ooh, armor. Once again, I do not trust that red key. 
Lots of Lebanon's. And even if with 100, 100, I took a lot of damage there. That sounded like an Archvile reviving sound, but I tend to confuse those with the jibs, so. Let's try going in with the plasma this time, those revenants. I can kind of stun lock them. Okay, that went a little better. Oh, there is an arch vial. Hi. Would you like some rockets? Rockets are in the menu tonight. Uh, that's right, the, the coincident special. Rockets for everyone, including Doom Guy himself. Actually, I should probably save after that, because I don't want to have to go through that again. Although I guess it is still a fun fight. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Nice sinking floor there, and now that the water is being drained, we can go down this waterfall, and... Did I find another secret? Oh, come on. I feel like I deserved something for that. But this just leads up to where the imp was. Yeah. Okay, not a secret, just a shortcut back up. The elaborateness made it feel a bit like a secret, but probably shouldn't have been fooled. Oh look! That's a very nice looking exit. Very green. Classic one zombie man guarding the exit. Right. That was Corrode by Yugi Boy 85 and I thought that was a pretty cool map. Um I liked the greenness of the setting and some of the fights were really fun too, like um the red key fight and like the pit with three waves of enemies was a bit of a ball buster, but I think it was overall well calibrated, too. So yeah, another good map carrying us along. I think these videos work best if I just finish two maps instead of trying the next before going out, so... Yeah, after just saving here in Desaturate, which is an interesting map title. I'm gonna say... Till next time.